what she's known for ages that you're gay. Yeah, well, I don't think she believed it until tonight. So much for the vow chest. Oh, <laughs> of I wonder what goes on in her little brain. Bad enough being born at the best of times. Pushed out of the ultimate comfort zone into the cold world. Being pushed out before you're ready into that incubator. Oh, little man. Oh, I thought it was you. Joy! What are you doing here? Oh, it's a long story. I thought you'd like to know that Sophie and Sean are around at mine. Oh, right. Well, I know what it's like when you've had a row and you're worrying where they are. Yeah, well, it's very thoughtful of you, Eileen, but there's no need. Did they tell you what the row was about? Yeah, yeah, they, they did. I suppose you're going to go around telling everybody. Why would I do that? I went through a similar thing with Todd, don't forget. I know where you're coming from. Oh, oh, I know. That Nancy boy with the single mother from lower down the food chain. It happens to the best of us, you know. I'm a single mother now. You will get through this gay business. Yeah? Just takes time, that's all. I'm still feeling a bit of a daze. Anyway, you know where they are. I can send them home, or if you all want to sleep on it, they're welcome to stay at mine tonight. Yeah, it might be best. Give them time to cool off. Well, I'll put it to the vote. You're doing well. What? Turn up for date, twice running. And on time? Don't go mad, I might die of shock. So I suppose it was you, then? What? I told your uh, dad that I needed a job. No. Well, somebody did. Not me. I wonder it could have been. Are you doing it? No, nah, I told him to stuff it. You didn't, did you? What, a poxy labouring job? You know, do you think I am some kind of charity? But I thought you'd like someone like that. So it was you. Didn't really tell him to stuff it, did you? <laughs> you? Now, if you lie to me, I'll lie back. I'm a girl. I'm allowed to lie. Oh, yeah? And how does that work? So when do you start? Tomorrow morning. Did I do a good thing, then? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Sorry you got caught up in all this. Oh, it's all right. Look, I only called round because I'd just seen Sophie and Shan going to Chipper. Yeah, I think they're staying at Islands tonight. What about you? Have you eaten? No, I was just going to go there myself. Well, stay and have that tea if you like, because I've not had anything. Are you sure? <laughs> so, so. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Kevin, Sophie, I... I just feel as though my whole world's falling apart. Hey, I know how you feel. <laughs> you do everything for your children, and this is how they repay you. You've done your best. There's not much else you can do. It's just so unfair. I think you're a great mum. You are. You have done your best, and that's all any of us can do. At least we've got each other through all this. I don't know where I'd be without you right now. <laughs> Doctor, any news? Yes, and I'm pleased to say it's good. Really? Well, cautious optimism. Your daughter's still very poorly, but the swelling around her brain has subsided, which was the main cause for anxiety. Thank you. God. There's still a long way to go, but we're hoping she's going to come round in the next 48 hours. So she's going to be OK? It's too early to give assurances, but put it this way, it's looking a whole lot better than it did on New Year's <sighs> Eve. And I suppose Tracy Barlow can be your best friend, can she, Mrs McIntyre? Not exactly. Making false allegations about you killing your husband, you could have gone down for life. That's true. How did you feel when she was released from prison? Disappointed. I'd have thought he'd be absolutely furious. What did you think when you heard that she'd been assaulted? I wasn't surprised. She has a lot of enemies round here. But that's all you felt? I don't allow myself to get too worked up about Tracy. I refuse to give her that power over me. What about you, David? Got your medication sorted out since I last saw you? No, I love mowing down my best friends in the street. How did you feel, David, about Tracy lying in court about your mum? Angry. Funny way of showing anger, sleeping with her. What was it? Some sort of revenge? Sorry, I, I don't see the relevance to that question. Seems to run in the family, sleeping with Tracy Barlow. Is that something you regret doing? We all do things we regret. Is that yes, I suppose. Then why sleep with her? 
Why does anyone sleep with anyone? How did you feel when she mocked your sexual prowess in front of everyone in the pub? Or do you not see the relevance of that either? I felt better. You must have felt humiliated, didn't you? You'd be telling me I tried to kill her next. So what were you doing on the evening she was assaulted? I was in here watching telly with my mum. What were you watching? Gremlins. Then Jules Holland. OK. That's all for now. Thanks for your help. Our pleasure. You were cool. How did you know what we're on telly? Looked in the TV times. Thank you, Sean. Cheers. So how's work going at the cabin? Oh, not bad. You're not getting there. Yeah, let me buy this. What? It's my way of saying thank you for giving our guy a job. No, you're right, mate. No, no, I insist. It's very good of you, considering. Yeah? I mean, I'm, I know he stood easy up on New Year's Eve, but he has been under a lot of pressure. He won't let it happen again. Ah, no worries. The job's just what he needs. Help take his mind off all these problems he's been having. Well, because of the war. Well, we all went a bit off the rails at that age. Sure. When you've seen what he has, it's bound to affect you more. His mum thinks he needs help. I, I reckon he just needs to get back into active service. And in the meantime, the job will do him nicely. Two pounds seventy, please. Yeah, I'm buying this. Ah. Cheers, Eddie. Yeah, they won't let you down. Don't worry. Get over one thing and along comes another to slap you in the face. It's none of my business, but... One. Well, I mean, all this Sophie thing. She can't help it if she's gay. Mm, I know, but... What Kevin did, that's... something else, but... She's not done anything wrong when you think about it. But she promised me, Tyrone, they wouldn't do anything under this roof. Yeah, no, but kids that age... Uh, people any age... Who can keep the word on a thing like that? And her ass in the right place, you know. What would you rather? That she sleeps with one nice girl that she loves, or goes around sleeping with every scumbag bloke that she meets? Mm. You know, if it makes her happy, better than being on your own the whole time. I'd rather. What? Well, it's agreeing with what she accused me of, but I'd rather she had one nice, steady boyfriend. That's not going to happen, though, is it? I suppose I was just hoping this was a phase. Well, that's no such luck now. And they are doing it here, where it's safe, and it's better than in a ginnel or on the red red. Yeah. Just gonna have to get used to it, aren't I? Anyway, if you ask me, it doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight. All ends in disaster sooner or later. <laughs> you're right there. So, campers, anybody been arrested yet? I don't know, but they're interviewing enough people. Tell me about it, they even did Betty. No, shut up, as if she'd do it. Well, exactly, that's what she said to them. <laughs> In no uncertain terms. They wish they'd never asked by the time she'd finished with them. Good old Betty. Yeah. I'm fuming they've not interrogated me. I could have done it. And if they interviewed you, Claire, this evening? Huh? Oh, now then, where were you when it happened, lady? I was watching TV while the kids were in bed. Ah. Yes, but can you prove it? Oh, darling, I don't think anyone's got a decent alibi, really. Yeah, well, some have got more decent ones than others. Must have been awful for you. Yeah, it's not been easy. And all the driving up here you must be doing. Aren't the parking charges wicked? Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, we'd best be going. Don't you want to know what I'm doing here? Oh, yeah. Well, you know I had this problem with my heart. Oh, yeah? I was right to be worried. It's terminal. Oh, no. And is there nothing they can do? No operation? Not for this. It's chronic heart failure, according to the specialist. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. Is that what you're doing here today? Not that they do a checkup. Every so often, not that I can see the point. So, how long? They don't know. We might be talking weeks. Worst of it all is, I can't get in touch with Colin to tell him. You've got his number, haven't you, John? I did have. 
Um, but last time I rang it, it said uh, number not recognised. You must have changed it. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'll have it anyway, if you don't mind. It's something to go on. Um, I, I deleted it from my phone, I'm afraid. What? Yeah, well, well once I realised it wasn't on it anymore, um, I did ring it two or three times. Well, can I give you my address and, and, and phone number so that you can tell me if he does ring? Yeah, of course he can. Um, yeah, write it on here. If I could just speak to him once more, it would be our last chance to, to make up before I go. I'm sure Colin will be ringing John any day soon. Good luck with baby hope, anyway. Thanks. That's what I could do with hope. That poor, poor woman. See you then, pal. Yeah, nice one, Eddie. Hello, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, not bad. Can I buy you a drink? No, I'm all right, thanks. I didn't know you were seeing Gary. So that's why you've come over. No, I'm just inquiring, that's all. It's my business to see, not yours. Whoa, slow down. I'm not the Spanish Inquisition. It just makes sense, that's all. But you asked me to find him a job. So what, you're going to take it off him now, then? Listen, if he makes you happy, then that's fine by me. No, it's not. And even if it was, I don't care. You know, there are some daughters who would thank their father for getting their boyfriend a job. Yeah, well... Thank you. Yeah. Well, you just be careful, all right? All right, I'm going. He's a good bloke. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Right, have you got all you need, girls? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's ages since we stayed up late and had a really good chat. Uh, they're going to bed if you don't, mind. We all <coughs> are. Look, try not to worry, love. Your mum will come round. She loves you too much. <laughs> yeah, she's right. It's all going to be fine. Love you. Try having a chat with her tomorrow when it's all quietened down. You'll be surprised. Okay. Night -night. Sweet tie, guys. Bye. Thank you. Night, Sean. Night. Oh, what a day. By the way, did you, uh... Did you really mean what you said about losing your faith? I don't know. I've just been thinking. I mean, sorry for springing it onto you like that. Yeah, it did come out of nowhere. <laughs> Any particular reason? Just think, yeah, I try and be God. I follow his rules. And where does it get me? My mum nearly dies of cancer. My dad has a kid with another woman. A tram comes crashing into the street, killing and maiming, and I fall in love with you, and it's a sin. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? God. Yeah, but... That's what the Book of Job's about, isn't it? I mean, your faith tested. Dunno, maybe. Or maybe I should just have a go at deciding what's right and wrong for a change. I can't do much worse than him up there, can I? Yeah. Just wondering if I was too hard on Sophie. You can't get it right all the time. No, I don't want to lose her as well, though. I'll have no family left. Anyway, you've heard enough about my problems. I don't mind. It takes my mind off my own. <sighs> Anyone ever tell you you're a good listener? No. Well, you are. So, thank you. Well, it sounds like we're good for each other right now. I right, let's get going. OK. Will you be OK? I'll survive. I've survived worse, after all. Well, uh, well, you take care, then. Yeah, you too. Good night. Night. I'm sorry, I shouldn't... I, 